Hey, this is Matt with Divine Superconductor TV. I've had a lot of questions about my ice freezer, cold bath, cold thermogenesis tub. And cold thermogenesis is a way to, say, Faraday cage our cells against non native EMF, electromagnetic fields. And we are living in a blue lit microwaved world. People that deny that are often the ones that are the most plugged into the matrix. Once you reconnect with nature, you're gonna disconnect from the matrix pretty quick. So this is a commercial chest freezer. You can buy these on Craigslist usually. This one's about four feet long and I bought it for $180. And basically what I've done is grounded it and I've added a lodestone. Pretty much you buy this copper rod from Omico Organics. It's filled with shungite, a mineral that actually negates non-native EMF. And I have it daisy chained to these alligator clips, super cheap. So one of them's going to the frame of the RV to ground the frame of the RV so I'm living in a Faraday cage. The other one is going to my grounding sheet that I sleep on, that's this one. And this guy is going to up to here, I have it daisy chained, up to here, another chain, into the tub. And you could just use any silver rod. And I'll put a link below for the Omico Organics a website to buy the copper rod. And what the charcoal does is they adsorb toxins in the water. So who knows what material this is made out of? Some kind of plastic, right? And anything that's releasing, especially when the UV is hitting this, when it's open, I mean, they keep it shut most of the time. But when it's open, the UV breaks down stuff. Right, the UV has a lot of effects, especially on us. But on the water, when I'm grounding the water in here, cold water holds more electrons. Electrons are flowing through that silver rod into the water. There's a lodestone in there, increasing the charge of the water as well. So I have a lot going on here. And people will say, oh, you know, bacteria, how do you keep it clean, blah, blah, blah. Not to worry about that. UV, invisible purple light, ultraviolet light, scrambles the DNA of viruses and bacteria. Scrambles. So I'm not worried about contaminants in the water. I leave this open for 20, 30 minutes while I'm doing my soak. I'm cleaning the tank with sunlight. Sunlight also kills mold. Sunlight kills mold in our body as well. I still use oregano oil to add extra protection because we're dealing with a lot of mold in our environment. Getting to the tools that you need for this tank. Temperature probe. I believe this is about $10 on Amazon. This is the Weber, Weber brand. Pretty much you just want a probe style digital. It's pretty easy. And I always test the water before I go in. And this water should be around 54. Let's check it out. Just about 55, that's perfect. The studies done on CT, cold thermogenesis, benefiting dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine, cold exposure boosts dopamine like 230, 250%, I forget the exact number. That's ridiculous. I feel like I've been on Valium since I've been doing this. And I've only done Valium a few times, but it was very memorable. When I got my teeth pulled, wasn't just doing it. But CT for the brain, holy crap. Forget antidepressants. Take some chlorophyll, get naked, get in the CT tank under the sun, ground yourself. Do that every other day. I'm doing this every day. It's a little, it's a little almost too much. I'm almost too happy. The other things you want to get, you don't need your hands and your feet to freeze off. You're just trying to get your torso, thighs. Gloves, two millimeter neoprene gloves. I got these on Amazon. 
two millimeter booties. I used to just sit in there with my hands out or the water just went up to my wrists. That works, but if you use these, you can be completely submerged up to my neck and my hands and my feet don't freeze off because there's no reason to CT your toes. We're trying to get, the, where, where are all the organs here? The middle. Other thing you need is a, well, you don't necessarily need it, but it helps. It's this guy, go to Petco, get a aquarium siphon. And this is to vacuum the bottom of the tank if you ever deal with any nasties. Anything falls in, but getting this lid set up is just magical. Because once you're done, you just shut it. All you have to do is run this thing for about an hour or two before you do it. Go over here, and it's this knob. This, it's going to be different for everyone, but you just, I put it up to the highest setting, and you can hear it running. Oh, it's just a motor down here. There are a lot of fears with this chest freezer, I've heard. Oh, what if the lid shuts when you're in there? Uh, what if you get electrocuted? Fear, fear, fear. People are afraid of the cold. They're not, their mind's making up stuff. You're not gonna die. Don't worry about it. If this thing shuts on me, I've done an experiment. You can push it open while you're in there. But look, it's not, it's not, I can't even do this. It's not going anywhere. As far as the electrocution, you turn the thing off when you go inside. There's no reason to keep it on while you're in there. In the last maybe half hour, the, the water is raised half a degree. It's not a big deal. Well, I'm in there for the 20 or 30 minutes after this video, the water is probably going to raise another two degrees. Well, you saw that it's at 55 degrees, it's going to go up to 57. And I believe the research showed 57.4 degrees was where most of the benefits were with uh, boosting norepinephrine and epinephrine over 500% and dopamine over 200%. And dopamine's not just what you think, it's not just a happy chemical, it's involved in motor function, it's involved in memory, and it's involved in a lot of different processes that the brain uses. So if you just gotta think that everyone's DHA, and magnesium deficient because there's the wrong minerals in the soil. It's not that there's not magnesium in the soil, there's the wrong minerals in the soil antagonizing magnesium. My teacher in a recent video, Jack Cruz, said that you can get magnesium from the sun. I'm not gonna rely on that. Not good enough insurance for me. I'm gonna keep taking magnesium bicarbonate and rubbing magnesium chloride on my skin when I go out in the sun. Magnesium, DHA, dopamine slam those because we're all deficient in them. Cold thermogenesis, CT, cold water, anything above 60 degrees is too warm. 55 degrees is the sweet spot. Deep CT it's called is anything like 45 degrees and colder. It's not really necessary. Just getting it in water that's 55 degrees, 55, 56, 57 is perfect. And stay in there for 20 or 30 minutes you don't have to freeze your toes and your hands off. Just put it up to your neck. A lot of people are into putting, dunking their head in the water. That's cool, that's super advanced. I'm not even there yet. Take your time with it. I've been doing cold showers for like two to three years now. It's taken me a long time to get to this place. It's called cold adapting. But to me, the benefits of this, the cold tub, are worlds beyond cold showers. I can't even begin to say. I've gotten more benefits in the first week of doing this than I have in two to three years of cold showers. And that's not an exaggeration. Literally high. Like yesterday I did my cold bath. About an hour or two later, okay, I felt like I just did drugs. Eight hours later, I'm about to go to bed. Blue blockers on feel the melatonin increasing and getting sleepy. I'm still feeling that dopamine high, still, eight hours later. So, get in the cold. It will do wonders for your brain and you will get hooked. And it's not just for the brain, it's physiologically. You're doing something, you're increasing oxygen, you're making the body more alkaline. Look into the work of Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F. He has a lot of interviews up on Joe Rogan, different shows, where he's talking about when you do his breathing technique, which 
you have to do his, but cold teaches you how to breathe. Cold is the teacher. So what I do is I go in here for 20 to 30 minutes. I either set a timer or lately I've just been setting a stopwatch and I get out when I'm ready. You meditate and I'm getting photons from the sun, biophotons that have electrons riding on those photons. And those hit my skin and they hit the electrons in my body and they excite them. That is a cascade of effects and that's increasing my health at the quantum level, submolecular level, beyond biology. And then when I'm in there also I'm getting grounding electrons, electrons from that copper rod that I showed you coming up through the grounding cord into the silver rod and there's electrons in the water and cold water holds more electrons. That's why it's really good to put ice in your water and drink cold water. It hydrates you better, it holds more electrons, it's more energizing. Cold water fish have more DHA in them because DHA holds on to electrons. So thanks for watching. Hope this inspired you to at least take a cold shower or look into getting an ice tub or a chest freezer. Stay supercharged.